Before I start with the design, it's very important for me to understand what the mission of the organization is about. We have to start asking those questions. So prior to us doing what we call a design charrette, and we design locally on site for a three day time period. But before that happens, we have to have conversations about mission to understand who you are. It is often the case that they don't know what their mission is yet. Not, un not, not just uncommon, more so than not. So it's important for an organization to have a discussion about mission and to have some agreement within the body of the people that are going to be talking to us about design. Inevitably, when we go into a design situation, we will sometimes come in, there'll be 25 people in the room representing kids' interests or worship interests or you know, prayer teams there or the outreach team or the, whatever it happens to be, the staff folks, and we find that they have not afforded themselves the opportunity to talk with themselves. Nobody has facilitated a discussion to talk about how do we bring the sum of the parts together so that they're greater than the whole. How does that happen? Oftentimes we find that we have different expectations intergenerationally. Those discussions oftentimes evolve into helping older people understand the, the expectations and the needs and the desires of a younger generation or a younger generation. And uh, honestly, nowadays, the younger people seem more willing to listen than the older people do. The, older, the younger people today, unlike my generation, seem more willing to accord to people that are older to them the respect that we should have for people who are older than us almost to the point where they're too timid to speak. So part of the discussion is cull culling out of them a discussion about what needs are intergenerationally. How does that work? How do we find common ground? 